Well, I have now traveled all over Northeast Ohio for years, and I will tell you, I have never seen something quite like this. We are at Fire and Dough here in North Olmsted, right on Brook Park Extension. Nizam is the owner. Right. And first of all, thank you for having me. Thank in. you. Thank you for guys for coming in. Second of all, I love what you're doing. You, this concept, well, the, the dough is the main focus, right? It you is. put dough with it everything. Is. Yeah, yeah. Everything is about the dough and everything, how we make everything, like, we put everything inside the dough and literally just cook it in a brick oven, you know? Now, you're creating items that bring in a lot of different cultures it together, is. right? Like, we use in, like, Middle East culture. We uh, get into Italian culture here. When we make the margarita pizza with olive oil and other fresh uh, pizza sauce, we make the fresh pizza sauce here. Let me tell you, it smells so good in here. And I already got a preview, so I'm going to hop back in the kitchen with you if mm -hmm. that's okay. Perfect. And we're going to whip up some great food with some awesome ingredients. Yep. All right, I told Nizam I will help him make one, and then I'll let them, the experts, finish the rest. Perfect. Does that sound okay yeah, to you? Yeah, yeah, All right, so fine. which one are you allowing me to help you with today? So this is the avocado pizza. Okay. So we get the fresh avocado, we mix it with lemon, garlic, salt, and olive oil. We make it like a cream olive, I mean a cream uh, avocado. It looks like guacamole to me, but it it's is. not. It, it is. It is? I mean, okay. it looks like it, but it's, but not. it's not. Yep, Okay. Perfect. What are you going to do now? We're going to put some acai with cheese. A, what is that? I thought a that was feta. It is a cow with cheese. It's a different. cow -y. Yeah, that's not a salty. It's like sweet kind of cheese. Oh, okay. It's different. Just yeah, sprinkle you can put it all Exactly. Over. Just exactly like that. And then we're going to put some uh, some tomatoes. Okay. Some like... Some diced tomatoes? Yes, yeah. Okay. What is Look it? how pretty this looks. And that's the olive oil. Okay. You're going to put some olive oil on top of it. Olive oil on top. Yeah. Drizzle it? Yeah, just like this. Yep. Oh, like this. Perfect. Sorry. Yeah. So put some organic on okay. top of it. Yep, perfect. I'm learning, well, I'm learning. And then, like, people sometimes ask for olive, black olives, green olive. It goes by, like, like whatever they want. So you can create your own almost. Add yeah, some you more can add whatever you want on it, too. But okay. that's, the, like, that's the main dish. And how long does this cook for? Two minutes. That's it? And it that's it, two minutes. If you go to Jerusalem, to the old city, there's a, a very famous bread called Jerusalem bread, where it has a lot of sesame on it. Uh -huh. It's very famous over there. If you guys go there, you guys can try it. It's, we have to try this. It's like hundred and hundred years ago. They've been so, making this. What I'm gathering, and gee, thank you for making this for us as you go. He's so busy right now, this poor no, guy. No, no, he's making it. He's making I know. it right now. I feel bad. He's got, no, no. He's got a list so of things. So that's Jerusalem. It's literally a lot of sesame on it. OK. And what else is it going to be? And a cow cheese. Okay, the one that I just used for that the pizza. Cheese, yeah. Mm -hmm. Black olives, organic, and olive oil. That's the zaatar. Okay, here's That's the zaatar. That's the manakish. Now, what all goes on? Now, the zaatar, you'd make fresh, too. Everything fresh. And that's, you have shipped from where? Uh, we ship the it leaves. from the, the leaf from the Holy Land, okay. from Jerusalem. Wow. So the ingredients are fresh, they're authentic, and they're organic. probably locked and organic. You're gonna make it's okay. You're gonna have a new friend. I'm gonna be living here, my friend. <laughs> I can't take it anymore. The gloves have to come off. We have to go eat. We gotta go out there. <laughs> my mind is just blown right now. Okay, so this is the pizza that I had made. Yep. Now you made a couple of other things too. Mm -hmm. Your staff did a wonderful job with this. These are shawarma. We've heard of beef shawarma wraps, chicken shawarma wraps, right? Well. I can assure you, you've never tasted one like this, right? Yeah, it's what different. What makes yours different? Well, our, because we get the meat every day fresh, we put it in the oven. We actually cook the meat in the oven, and we marinate with our special spices, and our recipe is different. It's just not like anything. That you'll and find anywhere Literally, else. we just cook it in the oven, put it back inside the dough, and bake it again. So you get the bread and the, the shawarma at the same time fresh. I'm gonna pull a piece of the shawarma out here. I don't Ooh. know which one I've grabbed, but when he brought these out, the smell, oh, it yeah. was just, it's unlike. Oh, wow. It's good, huh? Now I can tell you, when I just said it's unlike anything else, I know for a fact. It's yeah. unlike any you will try. Mark my words. Four. There's attention to detail in everything that's done, including your that's hummus. That's our hummus. It's number one. It's number I'm one. You. After trying this, I believe you already that it's number that one. That is the best. I'm telling you that it's kind of different. So you kind of see how, again, all these cultures are combining into one. And honestly, the end result 
is greatness on mm -hmm. plates. I see why people have been flying yeah, in here. It's, it's just going to keep continuing, my friend. Congratulations. Thank you so much. You thank have some. You. It's something new, something unique. Fire and Dough Bakery here in North Olmsted on Brook Park Extension. Trust me. You don't want to mess it. You don't want to mess it. Is what I said.